Since the genesis of the motor car, camera. Uh, since the genesis of the motor car, glass mirrors have been the best and only way of helping drivers see what's happening on the road behind them. Lately, however, some car brands have begun offering cameras as a high-tech alternative. Honda has even gone as far as fitting its long-awaited electric city car with side cameras as standard, but this all raises one big question. Why? 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 Do side cameras have any noticeable advantages over the old-fashioned approach, or is it just tech for tech's sake? Well, the short answer to that question is yes, they do, and no, they're not. Side cameras are indeed much more effective than traditional wing mirrors, and for more reasons than you might realize. Here are the three main ones. Number one, bye-bye blind spots. The biggest problem with traditional mirrors regards their field of vision. It isn't quite wide enough and it leaves a nasty gap between what you can see looking out your window and what you can see looking in the mirror. Blind spots can cause accidents even with careful, attentive drivers at the wheel. If a car or bicycle is positioned just so, it's dangerously easy not to see them. With cameras, that issue becomes a thing of the past because unlike mirrors, you can distort and stretch the angle of a camera's lens without making everything all tall and skinny. Or short and fat. A wide angle lens camera gives you a much, much better view of the road behind you, significantly reducing the size of that blind spot. And that isn't the only blind spot that cameras help get rid of. Another one? There's also the one created by the mirror itself. Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. That might sound dramatic and granted in a normal car with normal size mirrors, it's not much of a blind spot. But think about a big articulated lorry with those giant stacks of mirror. If you replace those with cameras, you're replacing two major, major blind spots, just like Tesla have done with their upcoming semi. It sounds weird saying semi. As Tesla have with their upcoming semi. No, no, that's worse. As Tesla have with their big, large lorry truck thing. Tesla semi. Should we? Moving on very quickly, reason number two, they are slippery. It might sound again like I'm being a bit dramatic here, but conventional wing mirrors are actually one of the most aerodynamically inefficient parts on a modern car. The faster you go, the more drag they create, and at motorway speed, it's a bit like having two patio doors flapping open on either side of your car wasting energy. By simply replacing those mirrors with small cameras that are housed in very slippery casing, you significantly reduce your car's drag coefficient, saving you battery life, or dinosaur juice for you old-fashioned types. And number three, visibility. A lot of people don't think of this one, even though it's possibly the most obvious application of side cameras. Mounting a camera where the wing mirror would traditionally go allows you to bring the screen that you'll be looking at into the cabin, which means it's more in your sight line, but it also means that you never have to worry about it misting up when it's cold out or being obscured by rain on your window. Plus, because it's a digital display and a camera, it's adjustable which means when you go into a dark tunnel, the screen will auto brighten, giving you a far superior view than you'd ever get using a glass mirror. Clearly then, side cameras do have very clear advantages over traditional wing mirrors and will probably become more and more prominent over time. The main issue is that they are quite expensive, so we can probably expect them on more premium cars at first. VW, for example, have decided not to bother with side cameras on the new ID3 in an effort to keep the price down. And there we have it, camera side mirrors, more useful than you think. Would you have them on your car? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. A peace.